My name is Chewan Kim, and I'm a 12-year-old 7th grader at Korea International School. I'm creating this video because I would like to organize and inform others about all the beneficial health facts that I have learned from completing the health packets. In this video, I am going to talk about several things including personal factors affecting healthy lifestyle, importance of diets, and the different foods I eat, the keys to a healthy life through exercise, and finally, my future plans for a healthy lifestyle. The first topic I will cover is about what type of world we live in and, and what it has done to our health and lifestyle. The first factor is a pagans, or private academies. These provide extra classes so students can get more education. However, they take up a lot of time so, and so students must stay up late to finish their homework. I personally only sleep on average of four hours a night because I have different hagwons such as a math hagwon I attend on Wednesdays. It ends at 10 p.m. so I come home at 10.30. After eating, showering, and finishing my homework, it is usually around 2 in the morning. Is school and grades. Most students in Korea are always worried about grades. This usually leads to higher scores. But there is so much pressure from parents and the worry that they will not go to good colleges. Personally, when I was in fifth grade, I got an F on a music test. This made me so upset because I knew how disappointed my parents would be, and so I cried and I felt like I would not be able to go to a good high school, which would lead me to not going to a good college. The next factor is books. People can learn new vocabulary and knowledge about the world through books, but they also neg negatively affect eyesight and vision. I believe that the main reason why I have glasses is because I would always read at night in bed. Last year, I read Lord of the Flies. I learned about human nature and how people want power and they will do a lot of crazy and scary things to get it. This book made me respect humans because we will do anything to survive. The fourth factor is sports. Students can learn teamwork and dedication through sports. However, students would do too much sports might be always tired or not have enough time to study. From personal experience, I go to synchronized swimming three times a week and I spend over 10 hours a week. I'm so tired after synchro practice that I don't have enough energy to finish my homework and end up sleeping late. The final factor is computers. These machines provide great entertainment and communication. They also help with homework and relaxation. However, there are too much, too much games and there's a loss of privacy through sites such as Facebook and Twitter. Personally, I always use Skype and iChat to ask my friends and we help each other with our homework. I use my computer to always search the internet when I'm doing research and I can easily send emails to my teachers to ask them for help when I am stuck. The next topic I will be talking about is diet. First, I will talk about food. I learned that green is very important and must be eaten the most. I also learned that carbohydrates give the body energy. A healthy diet is important for young people because they are growing and need the nutrients. From personal experience, I realize that I eat a lot of grain since I eat rice at every meal. I feel that this made me very healthy and I usually do not get sick. I usually have a lot of energy, which lets me do a lot of things such as think girl and studying. Second, I will talk about calcium. I learned that this is good for your teeth and builds strong bones. Milk, yogurt, and cheese are all great sources of calcium. However, too much is not good for you. I usually always drink about three glasses of milk every day because my mom makes sure that I never skip milk. I believe that this is why I've never broken a bone in my life. My brother, on the other hand, hates milk and already broke three bones while playing soccer. Finally, I will talk about fat diets. I learned that these types of diets only let you eat a few types of and this leads to not getting enough nutrients or calories for energy and good health. I realized while I was learning this, my cousin was doing a fat diet. She only drank a weird type of lemon tea and nothing else. 
She lost 50 pounds in one month, but never had any energy and actually had to go to the hospital. After stopping her diet, she immediately gained 20 pounds. I realized how bad fat diets were through the next topic I will be talking about is exercise. First, I will talk about jogging. I learned that it's a great aerobic exercise. This will lead to a stronger heart and lungs. I started jogging and only jog about 20 minutes a day, but I felt the benefits almost instantly. I found that I was breathing much easy and I don't get out of breath even after running up to the sixth floor for PE. Second, I will talk about rest. I learned that after exercise, the body becomes tired and begins to ache. I thought this was bad, but I found out that this was the body repairing itself. Personally, when I practice synchronized swimming, my legs and body aches after I come home. After I go to sleep, I feel better in the morning and the next practice is easier. Finally, I will talk about endorphins. I learned that these are chemicals that are released into the brain. They make us feel better and more confident. Endorphins also allow us to sleep better. From personal experience, I, last month I was very busy with school and hot ones. I could not exercise for a very long time. I realized now that my body was not able to pr produce a lot of endorphins during this time. At school, I was very agitated and tired. I got angry very easily and fought with my mom a lot. After the tests were over, I was able to exercise and I felt better better immediately. Through this experience, I realized how important endorphins are for a person. Thanks for listening! This completes my presentation. I hope you learned a lot. Now I will go and create a schedule so that I can balance my life and be healthy. I plan on sleeping at least 7 to 8 hours, cut down fast food, That was my last Cheetos. Exercise more constantly and don't get stressed out about school, work, so in the weekends, I can enjoy my free time and really relax.